On my thrust stand, I use a simple optical tack. Here's one of my early um, examples of this. Very straightforward, using just a uh, an, an infrared uh, infrared LED and an infrared sensitive uh, photo transistor. It's a really simple setup, and it works extremely well. Um, for reading the real RPM right off the uh, the bell of a, a motor, but it's a bit cumbersome to use. This one is is really um, bodgy, trying to get uh, both of the the LEDs uh, aligned so that the uh, light is uh, shining on the uh, same place that the uh, photodiode is is looking at, and I've. It's, uh, I've got it gooped up to try and uh, avoid vibrations that uh, cause it to not work very well and um, especially uh, when I started looking at smaller uh, 11 millimeter motors just the bulk of this whole contraption ends up being quite a significant like if you're looking at two inch props that's a huge amount of airflow that's blocked and it finally occurred to me really the almost ideal solution to this is just to go straight to fiber optics. They're really easy to get to get just uh, cheap plastic fiber cables and uh, here I've got um, in my setup I'm using a combination of 10 thou fiber and 40 thou fiber and this just makes the entire setup incredibly more compact. You can take all of the electronical elements far away from the motor and just have a very very tiny uh, sensor head. Um, in this case what I'm doing is I'm using a single 40 thou fiber on the photodiode and then a bundle of 10 mil fiber on a just a red high intensity LED and I epoxy these around the bundle around the thicker fiber so you have one thick fiber in the middle surrounded by a whole bundle of smaller fibers. The fibers have a kind of a narrow uh, field of view so to speak and so by having the light fibers uh, essentially ringing around the sense fiber, you get the closest amount, the, the light from your emitter gets as close to the pickup point on your sense fiber as possible. Putting the fibers on the LEDs is also incredibly simple. Uh, here you can see these are, are two emitters and it's just a, a using a, a small drill drilled down into the um, the lens of the LED and then they're just transparent epoxy into place and the epoxy should have the same optical properties as the epoxy lens and this is a nice uh, robust kind of uh, unit and it works the same on the receive side as well just with the uh, the thicker fiber. I did try using a laser diode as well to feed the uh, fiber but I actually got stronger results from a normal high intensity LED. This is what it looks like on my current test build. You see I have my uh, fiber bundle here and it's all um, the thin fiber is my emitting and then this one thick fiber is my sense. Um, the tips are all epoxied together and then it's cut uh, flush so they're all even with each other. Uh, and then I just have a, a metal bracket uh, machine that is gives me a little bit of adjustability so I can slide this in and out to adjust for uh, bigger or smaller motors and I can tilt clamped side of this fiber up and down and it has a very very low profile you see the entire the entire bundle sits behind just one blade width there where the mount is so it doesn't get in the way and because I can have it clamped uh, right there at the tip it's not affected by like the airflow uh, you know, moving the bundle around, it doesn't affect the readings at all. Um, and it's just really simple to uh, get in place. And so here it is lit up. You can see uh, you get a nice tight spot and the sense line is right in the middle of that. And uh, this works incredibly well. It gives a very, very solid reading. This sort of setup would actually work really great on a quad as well. If you wanted to um, do some sensor data logging of a quad in the air to say, see, uh, what speed your motors are actually spinning at without using uh, ESC telemetry, you want a higher update rate say, you could use just a single light LED and four receivers and you could wire up an entire quad uh, with a fiber bundle just to a, a separate data logger and it would be really easy just to uh, to get this taped up uh, on the arms where the, the motors by the, the motor bells just like uh, in this arrangement here. 